Today, I'll be going over how to re-engage dormant leads and turn them into sales. Now, this is commonly referred to as a database reactivation campaign. Why is this important? Well, many businesses are sitting on large lead lists that they paid to acquire, but have been left sitting on the shelf, collecting dust, and never contacted again. These are warm leads that showed interest in the product, but never actually purchased it. It's a fast way to get real results for businesses and show them that you are an expert in automation and someone to continue working with for future automation needs. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Pauly Smythe, and I'm the CEO and founder of Automate.ai, where we build the world's most advanced AI agents. And since this is a fairly complex build out, I've broken this down into sections to make it easier to digest and understand. This is part one of the series. And first, we're going to start off with triggering your calls in VAPI using our software, Automate.ai, which is built on Go High Level. And we'll be using N8N for all the automations. So let's get started. Okay, guys, let's jump right in here. I'm going to do a quick demo, show you how this gets triggered and go high level. And, and then we're going to move on to how everything works on the back end. I'll go through how the build out and all that stuff goes. So first off right here, I have the, my phone numbers blurred out, but so you want to hit this, check this. And you want to add a tag. So we're already going to we'll get it. Like I said, we'll do the build out in a minute here, but basically you're going to have a tag set up and this tag is going to trigger a workflow and that workflow is going to hit Vappy and Vappy is going to send out the call. Okay. So let's add a tag here. We are going to add this database reactivation campaign to tag here, DRC two tag. All right. And, and then. We're going to make a any action name. It doesn't matter. And we are going to add the tag. And so what this is going to do, this, like I said, it's going to send out the call here for me in just a minute. So I'll be getting a call and we'll listen to the demo and then we'll move on to the workflow. Usually take, okay, let's see here. What happened? I did not get our call. I get the call because I never published my workflow. So that's usually an important part to getting this going anyways. So yeah, just a second here. We're going to go back and I am going to re tag this and uh, start over. So give me a second. Okay. So we'll go back here. We'll add this tag. I actually just removed it, but we're going to add the tag back on. You can remove a tag in the same way as you add a tag up here. Anyways, uh, we are going to add that tag on. And now that I have the workflow activated, I should be getting this call here in about 10 seconds or less. So let's see what we got here. Add the tags and hopefully we are good to go here. Oh, and there we go. We got the call coming in. Hello. Hey, Polly. This is Haley calling from SuperSun Solar Company. You had previously expressed interest in solar with 0% financing for one to five years. And I wanted to see if you'd like to schedule a free in-person estimate to go over your options. Would you like to set that up? Yeah, that um, I had been thinking about solar. So yeah, let's set that up. Thanks. Perfect. Let's get you scheduled. What in time work best for you? We're available Monday to Friday. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. How about let's try f tomorrow at 2 p.m. Would that work? Give me a moment. Great. You're all set for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Our solar expert will arrive at your home to go over everything. If you need to make any changes, just let us know. Looking forward to seeing you. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Okay. So that's it, guys. Um, that is the database reactivation campaign agent right there. In an, um, in a quick demo for you. Uh, so we got the call, scheduled the appointment for us. Hopefully we're going to go check that in a second here. Let's go check that now. Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, it, I'm over here in the calendar. As you can see, it did schedule my appointment for tomorrow at 3 p.m. It actually get my information correct over here as well. So, so that is the scheduling component, which is going to be another video guys, because uh, that is a whole beast in itself, really. The Go High Level platform has a lot of little intricate things that are a little bit different than just straight going through Google uh, calendars, 
which has advantages in a way. But um, anyway, so that's that's the deal there. Let's jump in. I am going to go down here, guys, and we are going to show you the workflow and how that, that goes. So you're going to hit come down to automations here. And the automations that I set up for this is pretty basic. But what it is, is you always have a trigger in your automation and then a webhook. And there's... A, there's going to be a lot of other options you can add in. You could add an email afterwards. You can send out appointment reminders if you want to add that into the flow. You can drip these contacts in at steady rates so you're not blasting out a whole bunch of calls like all at once, which Vappy, you can only do 10 calls simultaneously, I believe. So, you know, there's, there's other actions you can add into this, but we're just going to go over the basic workflow here, how to get the call set up. And, and trigger. And so the trigger I have, which you, you have to always add a trigger to start off a workflow so it knows to, to go. And my trigger is my contact tag and my tag added here is the, the DRC2 tag that I had already set up, which is another option on the sidebar over there. You can add in your tag, you can create your tags rather. Um, and then you can have different tags for different workflows. But anyways, we're going to focus on this. So we got DRC2 tag and that's what's triggering here. And then from there, you got to set up your webhook. And then your webhook is going to be, and this is pretty easy to figure this out, but you get, if you want to set this up, and I'll show you real quick. It's just, you type in webhook here. You'd hit the plus button, one of these plus buttons, type in the webhook, and then you can hit the post. You're going to put in your URL from the the made end workflow. So we'll go over that in a second, but you know, it's basically the same way. If you watch my other video, it's the same way that you would set up the, the, well, not exactly. It's, 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 it's similar to how you would have done the other way when you're setting up your tools for using the AI receptionist that I built on, the, on my other video, but this actually hitting it in a different way to create the call. So, so we're going to grab that webhook URL there and we're going to enter it in there and then uh, you send over the custom data and that's what's going to be transmitted in a post request over to N8N and then you'll be able to use that information to, to schedule appointments or actually for them to greet you and then, and uh, well, yeah, basically just to that information will transmit your phone number. The main thing to get transmitted is a phone number. And I like to have a first name. So when we're calling, we can actually greet them by the first name, right? So you're going to add in your keys. And so like you can have a key that's called first name and that's going to come up on your, on your webhook and N8N as, as first name. And then you got your value over here and your value would be, you want to get your contacts. So t click that. And then you got full name, first name, last name. So you just want that first name right there. Boom. So that's going to be sent with, because you're triggering this workflow with a contact already. It's going to take that contact's first name and send it over. Same thing with phone here. You're going to send it, put in the phone and you're going to hit this little tag thing on the side. You're going to hit the contact and then you're going to hit and you're going to, um, you got your contact phone. And then you need to have one header, which is your content type and uh and that's going to be application json is your value so this is this application json all lowercase with the slash in between okay so i'm going to cancel this i'll show you my webhook that i've set up here and i actually was playing around with some other stuff you know over the last name contact and id you don't really need to do that yeah we can get into more details later on but that gets deeper and it becomes more of a headache than it is needed so what you really just need is the first name phone number and then you want to make sure you have this header set up like that and you are going to enter your url for your production url and yep and then you're going to save it and you'll have it all set up there and and then let's jump over into the VAPI, uh, VAPI, well, VAPI, but N8N. So hold on one minute. All right, here we go. Okay, so here we are. I got the DRC tube to the base reactivation campaign too here. And this is just, like I said, this is going to be your webhook. That's what you're going to start off your workflow with. And then that's going to send out the request to VAPI. Okay, so let me just jump in the webhook here. So like I showed you before, you got your production URL is what you 
take. You can do it with the test one too, but then you're gonna have to change that up for production. So I just stick in the production and, and use that. Um, and then no authentication and just hit for respond immediately, okay? And so when you get your event sent over, when we trigger this, you should be getting something like this, all right? And it's come, coming back, it's got, okay, yeah. So we have all our information right here that we wanna pull over with our with our webhook that we're sent or our HTTP requests that we're going to be sending to Vapi, and so like I said, you don't need all this other stuff. That, that just comes over, I guess, automatically the email. I don't think I stated that in the. Did I put that? In the, well, I'm not looking right this second because, anyways. So we got the first name, and then we got the phone number here, which I blurred out, so I don't dox myself. And anyways, so you're going to see that. And that's what we're going to be able to pull in for the next step here. So let's get to that real quick. So we're going to jump into the HTTP request here. And so next up, these, this is kind of important and, um, and it, you're going to start the HTTP request. Of course it's important, obviously. But it's important because you got to set this up properly so it sends out your call properly. And there's a few values that you got to put in here. Now, the, the easiest way to do this, guys, is to import the, the CURL here, okay? And so you can get the CURL here if you go to your documentation, all right? And you want to set up your, your documentation here. I'm sorry, not set up. You want to go to your documentations, go to create a call. So go to the create call, and then we are going to decide what, what we want to have sent over to VAPI. And so the main things you got to have, right, are you have to have the name you can leave out, but name is just like basically the name of, of this HTTP request, okay? That's that name. This, then you have to have your assistant ID. And then I like to have this assistant overrides the first message and what assistant waits for the user. So because they're calling out, you want them to say like, hello, or who's this or something before they start talking. So they're not just jumping in and talking. So, so you're going to do that. And then, and then you have to have a phone number ID, which is going to be the phone number ID from VAPI that your phone number is going to call from. And then there are these other properties, but that's, that's all you really want to have, truthfully, right there, okay? And so, so you can take this now that you've had this set up, right? And you can go ahead and copy it right here. And then I will show you back in NAN. But basically, what you can do now, we'll start a new HTTP request so you can just see it. You're going to import this curl C URL right there, right? So you're going to copy and paste it in there. Boom, import it, right? Awesome. So now this thing's all set up for you. It's ready to roll. It's got all the things that you need to make this HTTP request. It's got your proper URL set up. It's got your authentication that you don't need. It's got your headers and all the headers that you're going to want to send over which actually is just one header is your bearer token which i'll show you where to get that in a second and then it's got this json and this json is where we're going to enter some data that we brought that we sent over from uh our go high level uh, uh webhook right so uh, so let's jump back in and i will show you what i did so Actually, let's go back, step back for a second. So we can go in, just get your assistant ID. You know, you know where your assistant IDs are. Let's go back into Vapi here. Uh, okay. So, so you got your assistant ID right here. Boom. And then you're going to come into your phone numbers. You're going to pick your phone number and you're going to come up here and get your ID from it right there. So those, those are the values you want to insert in this JSON. You don't need to take them from the dynamic. Just take those specific ones that you copied from VAPI and put them in here. And the only, th then the thing that we're going to pull um, dynamically will be the number. And then uh, 
and then we're going to actually enter our first message that we want to have in here that it will actually talk. <coughs> Excuse me. And as you can see, we got that assistant waits for the first message for waits for the user to, to speak. Right. So uh, let's pop back in here and I will show you what I did in my other requests. Okay. One second. Okay. By the way, guys, I forgot to tell you that you need to also go pick up your, your bearer token. And that bearer token is down in your provider. Key. No, not your provider keys. It is in your org settings and it is in your API keys. And so you want to take your API key, copy that. And that's going to go where your bearer token says. So it's bearer space. And then this token, and I'll show that back here in one second. Okay. So actually I'll just show you on the, the other one that we were demoing here so you can see it, the actual, how it should be, but this is how it should say bearer space. And then that your that API key that we just pulled from Mount and it can actually use it to make the call. And so, okay, let's jump back into the other one here. So I can show you a little bit better. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna be in here. So we want to take, we want to get this a phone number in here, and as I've shown you before, you're gonna pull this over and then insert it in there, and that will give you your phone number. And let's see, the phone number ID we already went over, and then this will be your message. So I, I did, you know, hey. First name, this is Haley calling from Super Sun Solar Company, da, 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 da. And so that's my whole first line. And that's the first message that it's gonna say, cause it's overrides the, what you've put into your VAPI account already and your prompt in there. So you will, you'll be, it will say the first name. So you gotta say, Hey, and then you're gonna dynamically enter that name. Like, you know, we've done before with other stuff. Okay. And that's it. And then that will send off your, your stuff. You don't have to worry about these other variables at the bottom that I put here. That will do what you need to do to get your call out. And yeah, so, and then if you test this step, we're going to see what happens here. But just by testing this step, you should actually get a call coming in again. So we'll test. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, we're getting the call and I, so anyways, it will send out the call as well. So be ready for that. And so, yeah, that is it guys. That is the whole getting the, uh, the call going. And then the next video I'm going to do is actually setting up your tools to work with go high level. So you can schedule your appointments right into go high level without uh, needing any human intervention. So anyways, hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of this uh, video. If you did, please uh, leave me a comment, uh, leave me a like, subscribe. I'm trying to get up those subscribers, help me out. You know, I only got a few if you see, look down below. But yeah, hopefully you uh, enjoyed the video. Got any questions, let me know. We're gonna have a link to resources as well. If you want to get any of these resources, hit the, the button down below. And yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.